All right, Kryptonauts, today's video, let's talk about laptop mining, CPU and GPU mining on laptops. So uh, a few months ago, I watched Brandon Coin's channel. I love his channel, cool guy. Got lots of information from his channel, very helpful. He mentioned if you're having issues getting GPUs, why not consider uh, laptops and or pre-built? The latter, not so much. But laptops turned out to be interesting for me because you can get them for the same price as a GPU. I mean, that's what I found. Uh, so I looked at Lenovo's and I looked at Dell's and uh, just said, let's just go with this. Let's try it. At the time when I first started back in September of 2021, it was just, I didn't know how to buy this stuff. There was nothing in stock or if there was a GPU, it was double the price i'm going this is not cost effective even for a hobby it just didn't make sense to spend so much money on gpus you'd get a uh, product drop alerts in your emails or register sites and you go click on it it's already out of stock from newegg buy.com you had to go uh, wait in line not buy.com best buy sorry all that stuff and it's just like that wasn't really that wasn't really a solution for me to go wait in line for a GPU. And so I said, all right, let's look at laptops. So the first one I purchased was this one. Using our handy dandy Hardware Info 64 tool, I love this thing because I'm going, I can't remember the specs on this laptop, but now that I have the Hardware 64 tool, Hardware Info 64, I just bring it up and I say, what do I have here? So I'm running a Lenovo Legion 5. There's the model number. And this was under $1,000. I think it was close to 1000 I went and I searched and I saw a really low price. And buyer beware, it was kind of a scam site. And I quickly canceled my credit card because I thought, oh God, they got my card. They wouldn't respond. I think it's just some guy who popped a site up and puts out computer stuff at low price just to get clicks. I don't know. It just seems sketchy to me. Got out. I only buy now from big names, Amazon, Newegg. Newegg, not so much, but Best Buy and all that stuff. You got to be careful, man. If something looks too good to be true, watch it. And especially on eBay, if you're buying something, if the seller has zero feedback and he's new, low feedback score, the price seems too good to be true. It's probably a scam. So watch out. It'll ship you an empty box. And even though eBay protects the buyer, it's going to be difficult. These guys will sometimes just disappear with your money. So watch that. Anyway, I went to uh, look for this, and I ended up finding a sale or discounted price on Amazon of all places. And since I have an Amazon Prime card, slap 5% reward onto that puppy as well. And it said, ah, why not get this? So I have a Lenovo Legion 5. There's the, oh man, there we go. There's the memory, virtual memory committed, virtual memory available, physical memory, all that stuff. Tells you everything you need to know about this guy. On this guy, we have a uh, Intel's i7, Core i7, and there's the model number. So that's what's running on that. And let's go down to the GPU. CPU, CPU, CPU. There we go. It's just, there we go. Scroll on. I love this hardware info thing. Whoever wrote this is a genius. All right, on this card, boom, boom. We, get, we have an NVIDIA uh, GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. And there's the specs on it. It's running, yeah, it's running 66. Uh, and what I'm doing on this machine, like I said, it's under a thousand bucks. ROI, I mean, the price of the uh, laptop was not great. It wasn't super high, it wasn't super low, but I just needed to get started. I wanted to get into this crypto mining stuff and just learn. I figured why not just get a laptop since I, you know, didn't really have much of anything else. So what I'm doing now with this laptop, even with a Core i7, I decided to CPU mine with it. And this is Raptorium running CPU Miner G, paying the heavy fees, but it works. And I'm on Flockpool, it works. I'm not getting API errors on the pool. 
it's hashing away and there's the numbers right there uh 754 and then for a six day average it's like 575 for a core i7 i guess that's good right because everyone says don't use intels on cpu mining raptorium use the amd ryzen's and that i said okay well i'm going to use what i got and see what happens so we're working it's churn it's churning away it's chucking away on cpu mining in addition i am running gpu mining there's my settings for the 1660 there you go you really can't set much i just set the memory clock and that's probably wrong but i mean it's working this thing is reliable and stable and it's giving me about 27 28 mega hashes on eth hash and that's going to oh this is dagger hashimoto so i'm i'm actually mining the eth hash algorithm but I'm using the mining pool on NiceHash, which is Dagger Hashimoto. And what happens is you mine ETHash, but you get paid out in Bitcoin. And I kind of like that. And I mentioned this before, there's GUI fees to get off EtherMine or any other Ether pool are ridiculous. You have to wait and wait. It's like, you want me to spend 20 bucks to get my money moved out to my wallet? Oh, forget that. So the last one I held the 40, I think I up, went up to 50, and it was like five bucks to get it off. I said, I just want to get this off. I was getting a little nervous with the crypto drop in and my money sticking out, sticking out there on one mining pool. I go, oh my God, what if this gets hacked? Oh, how does this work? I don't know. I'm too new to worry about it. So I just said, let's just get this money out. And it did, and it, it moved pretty quick. So here we have the Lenovo. We are CPU and GPU mining. The thing is great. It's I have it up in another room and it's on wireless Wi-Fi and it works fine. And I have it like in a TPA formation, you know, a, a position. So the heat dissipates out the end and it's just sitting on its end. You know what I mean? So the fans will blow up and not into it. And it's been running good. I have no other fans on it and it seems to be a champ. All right, that's it for the Lenovo. And there's the information. Let's go back to the Dell. Here we have the Dell. Experience with this was, it's a Dell, a Dell G15. Let's bring up the hardware info. Kablamo. Dell G15 5510. It's running the same thing, Intel Core i7. And the GPU, I could just tell you, but let's show you the stats. I'm trying to do, where are you, GPU? There we go, NVIDIA. Bam. RTX 3060. All right, so we're running this guy. We are doing the same CPU mining and GPU mining. I didn't set any clocks on this thing. I just let it rip and it's running fine. So for CPU mining, similar. Oh, it just reset the clock. That's funny. I saw zero and uh oh, it's not working. But no, 594 on a four day stats. I'm still trying to read these. Again, I'm paying the dev fee. To run this miner and i'm playing the flock uh, the flock pull fee but flock pulls up and it runs it works and i get paid so you know i'm sticking with it until someone can provide a better more stable solution all right so what else do we have going on gpu mining and this is running i think i'm running t-rex I am running T-Rex Miner on this guy. And he is pushing out about 36 mega hash, 35. Oh, temperature's a little hot. Shoot, I better go, yep. Well, I was gonna mention heat. I better go up and check that. That is a little hot, 80. Oh, that's this guy. All right, that's the Dell. What's the upstairs one running at? Hold on a sec, we are running 65. Wow, this is interesting. This is very interesting. I just noticed this, man. I, 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 I thought it would be backwards. Oh. Windows wants to update on me. I hate that. Quit telling me when to update. Look at this right during a video. Hold on. Stand by. Schedule a restart. Why do they want to do that to me? All right. So here we have the... Uh, let's go back over here. Cooking along. Nice temperatures on the Lenovo. I'm doing the same thing. CPU, GPU mining. So the temperature is within, you know, under, anything under 70 I'm happy with. Over here, I just noticed this. This is cooking a little hot, 81. I got a 
I've got to look at that and find a better solution than what I have now. And I'll show you what I have now, which, which amazes me that it's not working. So this is running CPU GP mining. And here's what I have on this guy. So here's the information. And here's the Intel thing. I'm running this stupid fan thing, right? Let's see if it works. There's just like no air coming through this thing. I gotta, I gotta check this thing. It's like, I bought this thing for 20 bucks and I think I got, I think I bought junk. <laughs> it's not really moving any air through it. So I may have to re-change the configuration or reconfigure this thing so it gets rid of the heat. All the heat comes out of the back here. So we gotta definitely address that. So we're at 80, I'm gonna try to get that down. That's the first I was concerned about heat. I just, man, I thought this thing would be taking care of it. But I also do work on this, this computer as well. What I'll do is I'll shut down the miners so I can work and do my job stuff. And then when I'm not, I will then fire these miners back up on this Dell. And then while, it's, while I'm not working, it's working for me, like passive income, if you will. So this one also is going to Dagger Hashimoto and it's mining ethash algorithm and giving me bitcoin on the nice hash exchange and if you look at the nice hash yeah nice hash exchange let's go over here you will see the miners and what they do is uh, i'm not having it managed it, they come up as unmanaged so there's the two laptops and they're mining away and they kind of show you the pay the what their profitability is so they, they come up as unmanaged and then you can specify the worker name. So you can see, I like that. And you get paid out in Bitcoin, not bad. And then if you move the Bitcoin to Coinbase, it's free. There's no GUI or any, any, any uh, extortion fee like that just to move your hard earned funds from mining, right? So there you go. So right now, like I said, the only issue I have to deal now is this heat. And I thought this stupid little laptop cooler was gonna take care of that. Maybe it's just broke. I'll have to check it. Maybe the fans are on high. And we'll go uh, double check that. There's a little dial on the back. It, it runs off USB. And then it powers the fans. And we'll look into that. So what I like about this is these things have been reliable. The Lenovo has been a trooper, man. No problems with it. Nothing at all. Other than right now, I just got Windows wants to update of all times. You know, why did, you know, right when I bring up the remote desktop, it wants to update. And I don't, I don't like that. I, I try to disable that stuff and it still pops up. Yeah. I'm always afraid too when you update Windows. It's like updating your iPhone. It screws things up. I know Apple's messed up my iPhone. My phone burns hotter. The battery doesn't last as long. And it, uh, I know Verizon too. I have Verizon. I know they mess with it because whenever I was going outside, it would switch to 1X on the signal. And now why did this start happening? And then I had to go and go into cellular and set it to LTE 3G. And then I can actually use my unlimited data plan. I think, I know, I know Verizon throttles you even though you have unlimited data. My wife was running on cell mode full time all the time without Wi-Fi in the house. I went, no, no, what are you doing? I think that triggered it and Verizon throttled all of our devices. I know that's gotta be it because I don't mess with that stuff. Yeah, you gotta watch that. Anyway, I'm on a rant on that side, side, side tangent, but uh, it, it affects us all, this crap. So here we are, we have a laptop, stuff is solid. I recommend it if you can score one of these laptops with a decent card and even a 1660 is working like a champ. Uh, you can just get into mining at the cost of a GPU and you can do CPU mining as well as GPU mining. So consider the cost of a 3080, 3060 Ti, 3070 Ti, even uh, the X, uh, uh, the, uh, Radeon AMDs, so they're at 700 bucks for 6,600, you know, even on eBay, it's ridiculous. So something to consider and uh, just got to worry about the heat. <laughs> there's, my, there's my task for today is to get this down below uh, 60 or below 70. Uh, see, you buy this stuff, you buy all these little fluffy stuff and it just doesn't, there's air coming out of those fans. It's just not, it's just not doing it. All right. Something to look at. Yeah, let me know what you think. Have you had any success? I'd like to know if you found great places to get pre-built laptops. Just laptops all they can. I will say, this G15, I thought, oh, let's just go to Dell.com. Let's go to Dell.com and get one, and we'll go right to the manufacturer, and it'll be easy. No. 
Dell.com has got to be one of the worst customer experiences I've ever been through. Trying to order a laptop, pick it out, all the configure It's just so confusing. Then they're saying express overnight or something. They're saying you ship shipping is free or something. It just wasn't clear what their shipping policy was. I said, oh, whatever. It can't be terrible. I go to checkout. First of all, this thing costs two to $300 more than the one I got on eBay. And then the shipping was 75 bucks from Texas to, to Florida. I'm like, oh my God. Dell.com, you suck. I'm never, I'll never buy from Dell.com. I'll just go to eBay or a, or, a, or a retail store to get what I want. Yeah, going to the Dell.com. I'm sorry, guys, if you're listening, y'all suck. Y'all need, to, y'all need to get with it, man. It's just horrible experience. Jeez, Dells are okay. They're better than buying apples, Macs. Uh, but don't go to Dell.com. Just from my experience, it was not worth the pain. Go to eBay, boom, click, done. Shipping was free. It was 300 bucks less. I'm happy, and the thing runs like a champ. All right, that's all I got. A little video on laptop modding. I'm no expert by any means. This is, this is just my experience, and I hope, it, uh, hope other people have similar experiences or any tips or advice. I'm always open to advice. If I'm doing something wrong, you know, clock settings, running this wrong, change the performance settings. Any information is good. The community is strong. People want everyone to work together and succeed, and everyone's really great. So I love it. All right, I got to go find that dog again. Where's the dog? Rocco, where are you? Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? He's looking right at me. All right. I'm out. Take care, guys.